Hi, I'm Jeff Doyle, and welcome to this episode of Tracking 200. In 2016, I pioneered the over-the-shoulder view for hunting. That same year, I released Tracking in 4K. It's still one of my favorite videos. Since then, hundreds, if not a thousand people have reached out and asked me, how do I do it? So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take any backpack you have, build an over-the-shoulder mount, and give a little test run through the woods today to show you how it works. Hope you enjoy. So this pack I have on today is an Axel Mountain pack. What you can see is that the camera's mounted, the custom frame that I've 3D printed. One of the keys to this is that this is attached to the frame. Not all backpacks have a frame. There's been other videos where, you know, maybe people will strap it to the, the shoulder strap, or they'll put it on their head. One of the problems with that is you get a lot of motion on your head. And on the camera strap, you get a lot of motion like this flopping back and forth. Having it attached to a rigid frame allows the camera to be fixed and allows the software, which has digital image stabilization, to be able to even that out. It results in some tremendous footage. Now, the downside to a camera like this is it's pretty wide angle. So when you look at some of my videos and you see some of these bucks, they are really close. They're really, really close to get the footage like that. Um, I have a backpack here today. And this is the one thing I'm going to show. I'm going to try. This is a pretty big backpack. It's got a frame built in. It's meant for hauling a lot of weight, but it's not the most comfortable pack I've worn tracking. So what I've done is purchased off of eBay. The pack is not made anymore. But what I like about it, this is a Sitka pack, is that it has a rifle sling in built in. I've used another pack that has a rifle sling built in. It's also a little bit bigger than this. I like this feature a lot. It allows me to hook my rifle up, drag the buck right out. Now, hopefully, as you can see, this has a frame. I've attached the camera to the frame. Um, this doesn't have a frame. And so what I hope to be able to do today is show you how to make a frame that fits inside this that'll allow you to recreate this with any backpack. So here we go. All right, what I have here is half inch CPVC. Um, CPVC is meant to work in, in really um, hot conditions compared to PVC. Uh, what I like about this is the diameter and the thickness is uh, a bit smaller than what you can get in terms of PVC, or at least what I could find at Lowe's. I have some elbows, so I'm going to create the bottom of the pack. Frame. Come up into a T. Got some 30 degree angles as I come off the tee. I could put these on to get whatever I want in terms of a um, an angle onto the camera. So here we go. Okay, so this is the makings of the frame. I'll glue that up eventually, but right now I need to do a little alteration in this pack. So I was hopeful that the hydration system would come out the left-hand side. I'm a right-handed shooter, so I want it to come out the left um, that's not the case, so I've just I put a little dotted line on here. I'm going to sew, reinforce this whole thing, then cut it. I was stuck doing this by hand, so I've got some nylon thread here. It's a regular old sewing needle. And finish this up. It's not the prettiest sew job in the world, but hopefully it will do. That's what it looks like there. And I'm just going to slice it right down the middle. Okay. Okay, so the frame is in. Okay, so as I get this on, I have a look at where that hole is coming up. I can see it's pretty well centered on my back. So that's where I'm gonna use this little 30 degree elbow. I'm gonna pop it out at an angle like this. Then I got the other one. I'm gonna turn it the other way. And I'll pop it back up. So I, wa I don't want it to be on my shoulder. I want it to be behind my shoulder. So about out in here where I can reach right up, turn it on and off. So if, uh, if you build one of these, it's pretty comfortable. If you can get your arm up, hit the power button on and off, that's how I turn it on and off all the time. 
Okay, so the next piece to this is that I've got this little one quarter um, tripod screw and I've got a cap. I've drilled this out just big enough that I can fit this in without it slipping back through. So it might take a few tries, but if you work it back and forth and get this to pop out the other side. Okay, so there it is. All right, and now you can buy one of these off of Amazon. This one's aluminum and this will slip right on here. Okay, so I haven't glued this yet, but you can get an idea how this comes together. So I can get it tightened up. I've got my GoPro 9. It's always good to have the screw come in this way so that if you need to, you can pop the side for the battery in the opposite direction without this being in the way. Put this in here. And then I'll get connected up on the phone. We'll check the angle and I'll record a little video. I'll see how it goes before I glue it up. All right, so there's one more thing to do here and that is come in and essentially open this up. So just use a saw and the drill to smooth it out a little bit. It doesn't have to be pretty, but that allows me to get it on here. And then after I install the camera, you know, this thing would continue to spin. And it drove me crazy for a couple years until I realized that I could just cut it open. This will be glued and then come in with my vice grips and clamp that, spin this just as tight as I want to. Okay, I got the frame glued up. The top piece is loosely assembled. I got some satin brown spray paint and espresso and got a touch of satin hunt club green so this is sure to work i'm gonna put that on there and spray some of the brown get a nice fern camo pattern all right so you're probably curious to see how this came out and what i have is camo painted arm i've additionally reinforced this after i made the cut finished up really nicely and the pack is super lightweight it's on there nice and rigid um, what i'm going to do is put it on go for a little walk test run test show you how you can use your phone and connect to the gopro in order to make sure that the angle is correct let you get some practice with your stance there you go One of the great things about using a GoPro is the ability to pull it up on your phone, see what angle you have while it's attached to your backpack. You can also adjust the settings. So what I'm gonna do is flip over to the phone. You're gonna see I've got my GoPro 9 right here. Jeff's GoPro 9. I'm gonna to go to enable preview. Okay, now you can see me. So now if I was holding a rifle right now, I would put that out like this and I'd shoot like that and what you can see let's pick something actually all right there's this big boulder I'm standing on so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step down here okay so what I've got is a preview enabled on my phone get a camera on my back what I'm gonna do is keep my stance open slightly I'm going to position like I would shoot. I'm going to see if that boulder 
right there is still in view. So here we go. Look at the phone. There it is. So here we go. Look at the phone. There it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you have any additional questions or comments, post them down below. I love hearing from folks. And if you plan to film this year, make sure you get it while it's there. You won't have to go back and recreate anything. Capture that moment. Film away, film away. We'll see you on the trail.